Keys to a healthy brain. Donnie Van Curen joins us once again with Ask Donnie on our Friday. And we have a really interesting topic. Yeah, I'm excited to be here for this one. It's, you know, it's all centered around when you stop learning, your brain starts dying. And that's, that's right. a quote from Daniel Amen. That's right. Daniel Amen has uh, about eight clinics that deal, deal with brain health. And the whole concept is when your brain's healthy, as you get older, you fight disease better, you handle stress better, you just live longer with a healthy brain. And we don't generally talk about our brain. We talk about other, everything else. So I want to give three ways that we can really focus on keeping our brain healthy. I don't care if you're 20, 40, 60, this is going to benefit you long term and so I want to kind of give you a few keys and the first of course and this isn't a new news is your diet yeah. um, balancing iron levels increasing your anti antioxidants like uh, blueberries and green tea and cloves multivitamins these are all good for your brain also interesting in research, reducing charred meats mm. actually helps with your memory. And so if mm. you eat too much charred meat as you get older, it does affect your memory. And this is just based on research. So I didn't know that. And it's just something to keep in mind what you're eating because it does affect your brain. Here I, I am eating a bowl of blueberries now. <laughs> yeah, well, I ate blueberries on my cheesecake today. That felt that's counts. a good combo. That, that I like counts. that. I like that. <laughs> that works. Okay. The next one you say is growth. Yeah. Sometimes we get locked in as we get older with what we know and what we've learned. We need to learn new things. And it's not learn to do better what we know already how to do, but it's learn new skills like learning a music instrument, learning uh -huh. um, a new language. Uh, the more we can learn, the more our brain continues to grow in that way cognitively. Um, passion and purpose also keeps our brain active. It's better to be able to handle depression anxiety if you're passionate about something whether mm -hmm. you're 20 40 or 60 and if you're learning new things and that's then there's one. connection is always a big one as connection well. Connection is the last one. And that's really, I think we minimize connection. Uh, connection is about taking care of your family and friends, building relationships, having that expectation. Uh, interesting study that says the physical damage associated with being lonely is the equivalent of 15 cigarettes a day. Whoa, wow. that's intense. Isn't that amazing? So we need to continue to build those connections so that as we get mm. older, we have those connections. And it really affects our ability to, to deal with depression, anxiety, to ward off diseases. You know, we've been so focused on COVID mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. taking care of our body. Well, one of the ways we take care of our body is take care of our brain. Yeah, and with that connection, we learned that bigger than ever during the pandemic when That's we right. didn't have it. Isolation so many was tough. Cases. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Donnie. As always, we appreciate it. My pleasure. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to Ask Donnie at News9.net, or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.